the touch is ready. Mm -hmm. And the timer. All right, then. Look at this Rubik's Cube. Do you think that a toy manufacturer just randomly put it together without a plan or design? I don't think so, and I doubt if you do. This Rubik's Cube had an intelligent designer, one who created it based on orderly patterns. I contend that our world is filled with orderly patterns, all the work of an intelligent designer. If we stop to take notice, we will find these patterns around us in nature, mathematics, and music. Today, we will examine these patterns and then consider how, through the complex order of even the simplest things, they point to an intelligent designer. Let's begin. In the 1200s, a man named Leonardo Pisa discovered a pattern in a series of numbers, which are known as the Fibonacci numbers. Man has recently discovered these patterns, but it is the intelligent designer who first created them. The Fibonacci sequence consists of a sequence of numbers that form an orderly pattern. You'll see them here, beginning with zero, then one, then another one, then two, then three, five, eight, and on to infinity. This amazing pattern is created by adding the number plus the previous number to come up with the next number. For example, we start with one. Add the number before it, zero. Zero plus one equals one. Then we continue by adding one plus one equals two, one plus two equals three, two plus two equals five, and so on. Now about now you might find yourself asking, so what does this chain of numbers have to do with anything? These numbers reflect patterns in art and music that are pleasing to the human eye and ear. In mathematics, these number patterns reflect reliable systems that readily make sense and create order for the human mind. I believe it is God, the intelligent designer, who first created these numbers that show up throughout creation. Let me show you what I mean. It is not surprising that nature and the field of mathematics are intricately connected and woven with orderly patterns. What do flowers, snail shells, ram's horns, and galaxies all have in common? You'll be surprised. They all follow the Fibonacci sequence. Looking more closely to sunflower, we can see that there are two sets of spirals going in opposite directions. The sunflower seeds are growing in two consecutive numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. Although there are exceptions, flower petals also follow this sequence. Three, five, eight, thirteen, and twenty-one. My first introduction to the Fibonacci sequence was through listening to Vision Form's audio adventure series of Jonathan Park. He speaks of the golden spiral, which is made from the golden rectangle, which is made from the Fibonacci sequence. The golden rectangle is created by using two consecutive numbers in the Fibonacci sequence, in this case, 13 <coughs> by 21. Then the golden rectangle was divided into squares by counting down the Fibonacci sequence. 13, 8, 5, 3, 2, 1, and 1. When each of these squares is dissected, the golden spiral is formed. Surprisingly, if we study a ram's horn, take a closer look at a ram's horn, a parrot's beak, a snail shell, the cochlea in our inner ear, the spiral in our fingerprint, hurricanes, galaxies, and even the way water drains, we can see that they all follow the amazing principle of the golden spiral. But the one that I personally find most amazing, and that you might too, is that even a baby in the mother's womb follows the amazing principle of the golden spiral as well. Music and musical instruments are also based on the Fibonacci sequence. On a keyboard, there are groups of two and three black notes. Although the equation is too difficult for me to explain now, scholars now know that even Stradivari was aware of the Fibonacci sequence and used it to place the F holes in his famous violins. Musical theory is also based on the Fibonacci sequence. There are eight notes in a scale. If we count the chromatic octave, there are 13 notes. All of these numbers are part of the Fibonacci sequence. Many composers use this sequence in their music also. Not only is the master composer intelligent, but he is creative. He enjoys this orderly world 
and so do we. A fun and practical example of orderly patterns is none other, none other than juggling. With the right sequence, timing, and rhythm, an orderly pattern is achieved. As a matter of fact, the juggling process will fail if not done in an orderly fashion, as I've just demonstrated. I contend that the balls fall like we fall if we do not live according to the order established by the intelligent designing. We have been infused with the orderly workings of our creator. Perhaps that is one reason why we function best in an orderly setting and why we appreciate order and predictability in our lives. In the New Testament of the Holy Bible, Paul wrote in one of his epistles, let all things be done decently and in order. A final example of patterns in order is a personal favorite, the Rubik's Cube. It reminds me that when things are out of order in my life, they can quickly fall back into place when I follow the patterns of the one who designed them. I love the Rubik's Cube. As a matter of fact, I take it almost everywhere. Have you ever solved one? This one is called a 3x3. There are also 2x2s, 4x4s, and 5x5s. Though each one varies in complexity, each one is an example of an orderly pattern. The cube was invented in the 1970s by Dr. Erno Rubik, a professor of architecture in Budapest, Hungary. He liked to play and experiment with three-dimensional objects. He invented the cube. However, after he invented it, he thought it would be impossible to solve. But finally, after one month of studying, testing, and reconfiguring his own creation, Dr. Erno Rubik unlocked the code of patterns inherent in his own design and solved the cube he created himself. Today, the Rubik's Cube has become a worldwide fad and has even made it into the movies. You might remember seeing the Rubik's Cube featured in the movie The Pursuit of Happiness, and most recently, in Wally. <laughs> Something else Dr. Rubik discovered with his different puzzles is that many patterns must be solved in a specific order, as is the case with the cube. It takes the right algorithms to solve. If we just turned every which way, it wouldn't come together. It takes precise, orderly movements. An original Rubik's cube has over 43 quintillion possible configurations, and only one of those configurations results in the solved cube. If I was not limited to the 10-minute NCFCA time limit, I could solve all of these cubes <laughs> for you. <laughs> because even though I am not the designer, I have been able to study, learn, and trust the consistency of the patterns that are an integral part of this cube, like the Fibonacci numbers. Even though human designers, like Dr. Rubik, may be confounded by their own creations, I contend that there is an intelligent designer, the master creator of all patterns, who delights as we learn of his order, purpose, and beauty in all things. Nature, mathematics, and music all point to him. One of the reasons I also love this popular toy is that its color patterns can be used to tell a message. Finally, watch now, as, and with this cube's colors, I will illustrate a message that has been told for over 2,000 years. Man is born in the darkness or blackness of sin. God sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, who shed his scarlet red blood on our behalf, that we might be forgiven and cleansed of our sin. When we believe by faith, we are forgiven of our sin, and we are made as white as snow, and we experience a newness of life. Next, the Bible teaches that we should follow the Lord in the blue waters of believers' baptism. And as our relationship grows with Jesus, we grow spiritually like the green grass of the field. Eternal life in heaven is a free gift given to anyone who believes by faith in Jesus Christ. So let even this Rubik's Cube remind you of the myriad of orderly patterns in our universe. All the handiwork and plan of our intelligent designer. The designer who can take things that are mixed up, even like our lives, and put them in order. Thank you.